This week's Friday question comes to us from a viewer who asks, when it comes to endodontic instrumentation, what's a better motion, reciprocation or rotation and why? Recently, the development of shaping endodontic instruments that use reciprocation motion as opposed to continuous rotation for root canal instrumentation has created a divide between those who favor rotation versus reciprocation. Now, reciprocation is a motion in which an instrument is constantly engaging and disengaging in the root canal, uh, and it goes in a back and forth motion. The reciprocation motion can be simple, or it could also have different angles of rotation, as well as being combined with an overall rotation motion. Continuous rotation, on the other hand, is a traditional 360 degree continuous rotation of a rotary file in the root canal that has been time proven over the years. NITI engine driven files were developed and recommended to use in a rotary motion. Rotary motion was used previously with stainless steel files but was limited to the straight portion of the canal because of the rigidity of the stainless steel uh, metal. But NITI's super elasticity made the rotary motion all the way to the apex possible for the very first time. However, while NITI wire is more super elastic and flexible, it is more torque sensitive than stainless steel. Therefore, when the original NITI files were introduced with lands, there was way too much torque and practitioners separated instruments frequently. All along, manufacturers never explained what kind of motion should the operator use for successful results. Therefore, some clinicians were using files like Black & Decker drills, pushing them way too hard and leaning on them beyond their torque limits. Remember that the maximum amount of force you should use on any file is no more than that you, which you would exert on a sharp pencil during writing. Instead of teaching proper use of files in rotary motion, manufacturers developed all kinds of uh, tricks on the handpiece as well as reciprocation motion, which generally reduces the increased torque on the file, but it does so at the expense of cutting and releasing the debris in the root canal. You see, while reciprocation motion works in creating a shape, it does so at a cost. It actually does so at two costs. The first one is it creates way too much debris that gets packed in the root canal and uh, out the end of the root as you're getting close to the apex, which could increase your rate of postoperative pain. And the second challenge is that when it's combined with single file techniques, it puts way too much torque on the canal walls, causing dentinal microcracks. So let's first take a look at the first problem of debris development. During reciprocation motion, the file engages dentin in one direction, takes off a chunk of dentin, and then it ends up, uh, which ends up in the chip space of the file, and then it begins to rotate in the opposite direction, and therefore it releases the cut debris back out into the root canal space. As a result, reciprocating files are cutting and releasing uh, the debris back into the root canal. The problem is that the released debris gets packed in the oval portion of the root canal, and it also extrudes out of the apex as we get closer to the apical uh, area of the root with these reciprocating files. Studies comparing the rate of postoperative pain with rotation and reciprocation have shown that a higher rate of postoperative pain can be expected with reciprocating motion than it would with the rotation motion. And this is also why reciprocating systems require much more irrigation than their rotary counterparts. Continuous rotation engages the cut debris, and if the operator were to remove the file after each engagement and wipe the file flutes with a swipe, such as that which we recommend during the SSC motion or single stroke and clean motion with the endo swipe, we can kill two birds with one stone, which means we can reduce the torque on the file while removing the debris that's been cut at the same time. And this is what we call using your files like spoons. You see, a rotating file engages while the chip space is filling up. Then it's removed and swiped clean with an endo swipe. This way, the cut debris is physically removed both from the chip space of the file as well as from the canal. Therefore, it reduces both the torque on the file and reduces debris accumulation and debris packing and extrusion through the end of the root. 
The second problem of reciprocation is unique to single file reciprocation systems. In single file systems, the master file is used right at the outset to remove large volume of dentin and prepare the canal with its final shape. The action of a single file, which is thick and tapered and is reciprocating under high force to work its way down to the full working length, has been shown to increase the incidence of microcracks on the dentinal walls due to forcing excessive dentin removal under high torque. Now, this makes sense, and the best analogy to demonstrate it is the pre tapping of a screw hole before screwing a large screw into the hole. So if you were to ask any carpenter to put a thick screw in a piece of wood or in drywall, he will very likely pre-tap the hole first, which means that it prepares a channel which is halfway as big as the final screw, and then it goes ahead and uh, prepares the final uh, screw into that hole. And if he fails to do that, and goes about making a large screw into a flat wall right off the bat, he actually can create cracks right along the side of the screw into the drywall or into the wood. And the same thing happens in root canals if you were to use a single file in a reciprocation motion and push it all the way down by force. And this is already being shown through research. Therefore, although both rotation and reciprocation are acceptable techniques available on the market for instrumentation in a number of different instrumentation systems, we here at Rewald Endo believe that using conventional rotation in combination with single stroke and clean or SSC has the best chance to safely as well as efficiently instrument the root canal without causing too much stress on the dentinal walls or pushing debris out which causes postoperative pain. Remember that the small micro cracks on the dental walls are cumulative trauma and while the results cannot be seen immediately uh, you know, on a radiograph, dental walls with more micro cracks are undoubtedly weaker than their counterparts with less micro cracks and may affect uh, the long-term outcome of the tooth restoratively. For Rewald Endo, I'm Ali Nese and I hope you found this tutorial helpful.